Hi everybody, how are you today? It's Katie here and today we are doing a light sculpt and stretch session light sculpt and stretch session. I don't know why that's so hard to say, stretch session. <laughs> um, so what it's gonna be is a little bit of mobility and stretching, but at the same time, some mat Pilates moves. All you need is yourself. You're gonna feel great afterwards. You're gonna feel like you just got a nice stretch, but at the same time, some nice power pulses to feel stronger at the same time. So we're gonna step back on that mat. Take a nice deep breath in, taking these feet a little bit more than hip distance apart. Inhale through the nose. I'd love you to close your eyes right now. And just try to shift the booty around, opening up the hips, letting the shoulder tension go, your shoulders sitting back. Inhale. And exhale, great. Now I'm gonna do a big hip opener right here. So swiveling the booty around, a little bit of the hamstrings, hinging the booty back. one last time and this time let's take the hands above head as you inhale and exhale let it all go one last big deep breath in fingertips to the sky and we're to come from side to side swaying it out right here side to side great stretching out that side body Lengthening those fingertips towards the ceiling and a little bit of bend in the lower half for four, three, two, one. Hands on the hips, same type of movement. Let's just come from side to side. Side lunge it out. Toes pointing towards me just like this. Squared up toes and sitting back with those side lunges. Just to get the heart rate up a little bit, let's take those hands to each side. Breathe in. And exhale, great. Really pushing off that back heel and your abs in tight for four, for three. We're gonna hold in two and one. Opening up that chest. Let's turn and breathe in. Exhale, back to center and switch. Great. Little stretch to open up the chest. right here, still with your hands, right here, lengthen to each side. We have some side pulls from side to side. Awesome. Now, almost imagining a rope. You're pulling a rope to each side, cinching in that side body, tiny bend in the lower half right here as well. Keeping those shoulders back and down. Just getting the heart rate up, getting energized. Maybe you're just waking up. It's the perfect workout to do. If you're exhausted, maybe you got low sleep and you're like, I just need a light thing. A little bit of toning, but to feel good. We have four, three. Leave the hands right here in two and one. Forward fold down and right back up. Awesome. Really making sure you're squeezing those glutes at the top. You're feeling this in your hamstrings. Flat back, straight spine and coming on up. We have three. For two. Abs and tight. Last one. Leaving your hands up right here. Tiny bend in those knees. Don't lock them. And I want some arm circles. Great. Right here, tensing up those biceps. Great work. Tiny little pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four. We're gonna reverse it in two and one. Reverse it out. Shoulders down. Great. We have a big bear hug in three, two, and one. Hug a tree, big bear hug, and then extend palms to the back of the room. Hug a tree and extend. Awesome. Great. Contract the core and exhale. Wonderful. Palms to the back of the room, getting those triceps for a four, three, two, and one. As you finish that last one, hands are going to come right here by our hips. Now we're going to come down to plie, but toes now pointed diagonally outwards, not squared up. We're going to come down to plie, serve the platter, and lift. Great. 
lower slowly and lift. Awesome. Almost like you have an imaginary rope right here and you're pulling that rope right towards your hips. Getting those inner thighs. Squeeze the core. Squeeze the booty for four. Inhale to exhale for three. Get lower these last two. Last one, let's hold at the bottom. We're gonna hold right here. We're gonna pick one heel up. Hold one heel and let's start to pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Gently let go. Other side, get low. Heel lift, hold. Pulse it for eight, seven, Great. Four, three, two. Back to that plie in one. Hold right here. We're pulsing eight, seven. Great. Five, four, three, two. We're gonna hold a static plie in one. Drive the car from side to side for eight, seven. Twist. Little bit of movement. Six, five. Four, three, stay right here in two, in one. Taking those elbows in right by your hips as you play up. Again, fingers and hands to the back of the room. Down and lift, down and lift, great. <sighs> Inhale to exhale. <sighs> awesome. Same movement, but now we're gonna come from side to side. So, up and around, great. And around. Squat, reach, squat, reach. Try to keep those elbows towards those hips and lengthen, up. Really also lengthen that leg. Beautiful, for six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Now, let's meet at the top of your mat right here. We're gonna come right here at the top of your mat. We're gonna reverse lunge as those hands are gonna come above head. So reverse lunge, hands right here. Awesome. Now, holding that static lunge, great. All right, you're all with me. Beautiful. Now we're gonna come up and do a straight back leg right here, but do a nice tricep kickback. Come down, reverse lunge, tricep kickback, hinging forward. Awesome, for eight. Pressure in that front foot. Back leg is bent, then straight as you squeeze those triceps for five, four, three, two, one, hands come right above head, floating that back foot. Awesome, we're gonna hold this airplane pose, really hinging forward with a straight spine, core in tight. We're holding right there, beautiful. Hold, 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 balancing through your core. We're gonna start to give you a nice back pulse with that leg for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, right back down in one. Right back down, beautiful, slowly lowering towards that mat. So that knee is on the mat right here. We're just gonna slightly lean forward to open up that hip. Inhale and exhale. Feel free to put a tiny bit of pressure right here. Shift that knee around, just open up those hips. <sighs> Great, open up those hips. Now we're gonna plant opposite hand down and open up that chest like we did one of those first moves. Feeling the chest start to open. Great for posture, good for bloating. Awesome. As you exhale, we're coming right back up. Right how we started, hands above head. Curl under that back toe, coming on up. Beautiful, release. Other side, a little bit of sculpting, a little bit of stretching. Nice work. We are coming back. We're holding right there. Getting your balance, reversing lunge, and then hinging forward, straight back leg, tricep, kick back. Nice work. 
great, you guys. Thinking about your head neutral, just looking straight ahead of you the whole time. Not straining your neck in any way. Slow and steady. Abs engage for three. Squeeze that back glute as well for two. Nice work on this last one. Hands right above head, floating that back foot. Grabbing your balance right here, holding that tight. Everything's nice and tight. Lengthen the fingertips, lengthen the toes. We have an eight count with the back leg pulse for eight, seven, six, five. Tiny little squeeze. Extend even longer. Core even tighter for two and one. Coming down, feeling that stretch. Beautiful. Deep runner's lunge, opening up the hips. Take a nice deep breath in. Again, feel free to just shift that knee around just a little, opening up those hips. We're gonna take the opposite hand, plant it right next to the foot, and reach. Open up the chest. And instead of standing right back up, we're gonna come and meet me in a high plank. So this foot coming down into a high plank. Nice work, you guys. Holding this high plank. Feel free to pedal at your feet. Get a nice little calf stretch in. Awesome. Holding that high plank right here. Great work, you guys. What we're gonna do is turn right over into a side plank and lift. Lift that hand right above head back to a high plank. Other side, shifting the booty and lift. Awesome. We're just gonna shift back and forth a few times. Back to that high plank, slow and controlled. Lift. Wonderful. Awesome. Breathe in. Exhale, last two. Last one. Back to that high plank, holding right here. We're gonna take those feet in for a floating tabletop. Your shoulders are in line with your wrists. Now we're just floating that tabletop right here. Great, a wonderful isometric exercise. We have three, two, one. Shifting those feet back for a high plank, back to a tabletop. We have four, three, two. We're gonna end in a high plank in one, but this time bending out the legs, feeling the stretch, a nice floating child's pose. Take it back, take the booty back, stretching it out for three, two, powering through with those thighs. Exhale, last one. And meet me right back down into a tabletop. Wonderful, we're gonna take our hands right in line with our shoulders. We're gonna shift the booty around, opening up the hips. Feel free to take those knees a little bit wider on the mat. Shift the booty, deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Now, what I want you guys to do is come into a beautiful bird dog. So one limb out and opposite hold. Great work, you guys. We're stabilizing through the core, breathing in, inhale, and let's come in for a nice knee to elbow kiss. Great. We only have a few on each side. Really lengthen and come on in. Focus on your breath. And squeeze that back glute. We have two. We have one. We're gonna hold that bird dog in one. We're holding and give me that eight count for eight, seven, Six, tiny little pulse for four, three, leaving both limbs up in one. Slight bend in the knee, tap that back toe. Back to center, tap. Wonderful. Try to keep that body balanced through your core. Spine straight, stabilize. We have three. Core tight, two. 
one, keeping the hand up, right like this, knee down, taking that hand through, thread the needle, and opening up the chest. Some great chest openers in this to focus on posture. This move is wonderful for shoulder mobility, opening up the hips as you sit back. Good for bloating. Last two. Exhale, audible exhale, let it on go. Last one. And coming back to center, tabletop position. Let's shift that booty around. Great. Big deep breath in. And as you exhale, let's come back to the bird dog. We're gonna come opposite limbs, opposite side. We're holding that right there. Nice work, you guys. Core is super tight, glute is super tight. Your head, you're looking straight down at the front of the mat. And I want you guys to come in for a, a bird dog crunch, knee to elbow. Here we go, let's rock. Spine nice and lengthened. Slow and steady. I don't want you speeding these up. I love my bird dogs. In, in real life classes, and I see a lot of the time, this, this, it's way too fast. Slow and controlled, we have three. Two. Extend nice and long, last one, we're holding at the top. Eight count, hold, 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 let's pulse it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold right there and tap that toe behind you. Leave that knee nice and elevated. Awesome. Great for the shoulder work. Hamstring curl. For three. Woo! Tiny little movement, but boy, does it work too. And one hand is left right here, knee to the mat. Threading that needle through, release, great. Awesome work, you guys. Deep breath, let it all go. Last two. Last one. Really reach even further, opening up that chest. Big exhale. <sighs> right back to center and swivel around onto your booty. So, meet me on your booty. If you need a water break, feel free to grab one. I'm gonna scoot this back so you can see me. So, we're right here on the mat. Take a nice deep breath in, planting the feet. Inhale, and as you exhale, Hands coming right behind you. We're gonna just do a nice hip opener stretch. We're gonna take those knees from side to side. So, 90 degree angle with our knees and switching, great. Nice and controlled, opening up the hips. I also just realized how dirty my socks are. <laughs> I'm out here in the mountains in Palm Springs and to get to the studio, I like walked in the dirt and I just did not realize that it would uh, attract so much dirt, but it obviously would. <laughs> Great, just keep shifting from side to side. Last two. One of my favorite hip mobility moves. Last one, coming right back to center. Now, we're going to do some slow Pilates roll downs. Hopefully that just loosened up your hips. Honestly, that helped a ton. Now roll out those shoulders, relieve the shoulder tension. Arms are lengthened by your side. Slow Pilates roll down. Hands right above head. Coming right back up, we have six. Exhale at the top. Ease vertebrae at a time. Coming on the mat, rounding out the shoulders on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Keeping those fingertips nice and long. Last one, we're gonna hold at the top. Hold, great. 
Now focus on your posture, opening up the chest. We're gonna row it back on each side. So give me some nice body weight rows. We're taking that imaginary rope, pulling it towards our body right here. Tiny little shift of a twist. Now if you don't feel it enough, get the back a little bit lower to the mat each time for four. For three. For two. Nice work. Last one. Now as you finish that last one, we're gonna slowly lower down the mat. As you slowly lower down the mat, we're picking up our hips right away into a nice hip bridge. We're in that hip bridge right here. Now give me a nice little power pulse to just activate those glutes. So pulse that booty towards the ceiling. We only have eight, seven, squeeze extra tight, pushing through those heels, ribs are tucked under. Four, hold that hip bridge in two and one. All right. Hopefully got those glutes nice and activated. Now we're gonna take it up a notch. Bending that knee, holding one leg bent at a 90 degree angle right there. We have that pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Don't go anywhere, one. Set it down, other side. Nice work, bend the knee, hold and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, two more times. Here we go in one, Nice work, only two more times. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, hold and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One. We're picking up that first initial leg that we started with. We're holding that right there. Nice work. Opposite arm is coming right there, right behind your head. We're crunching down and lifting up. We're crunching down. We only have eight on each side. And lift. Crunch to lift. Beautiful for five. Nice work. Three. Two. One, and switch. Opposite leg, opposite arm. Beautiful, we're crunching and extending. Crunch, extension, beautiful. That back can come on the mat as you crunch and then lift through that heel. Awesome, now you get it. Five, four, Get that shoulder up off the mat and the booty up off the floor for two and one. Relax. Now, as you relax, what we're gonna do is take one knee in towards our chest and opening up those hips right here. Great work, you're taking that knee in. Just relax. What you can do is take that knee and just kind of give it a nice little shift. Bring it around your chest switch. Great. Ah, this feels so good just to lay it down. My goodness. And stretch it out. Let's do two more times before we make it an ab move. <laughs> Great. And switch. Really hug that knee. Get in that nice stretch. Now as you hug that knee, let's pick up our shoulders up off the mat. We're floating that foot, so not foot is not on the mat. We're floating that foot, opposite time. Here we go, let's bicycle it out. Shoulders up off the mat. Let me hear you exhale. <sighs> <sighs> Wonderful, nice work. <sighs> Keep breathing. <sighs> Driving that knee towards your chest for eight, seven, Six, you got it. Three, two, grabbing both knees, ball roll up for three, two. Meeting me in a boat pose position when you get to the top, holding this right here, boat pose position, shoulders back and down, let's hold, 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 hold. Awesome work, you guys. Let's start to flutter. We only have that eight count for eight, seven, six, five. Press down, four, Three, two, one, relax. Nice work, you guys. What we're gonna do is take one knee, hug it one more time, hug it towards the chest, opposite hand or arm. 
coming right across. Let's just stretch out that thigh and the back. <sighs> How are we feeling? Hopefully amazing. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath in. <sighs> Sink a little deeper as you exhale. Tiny bit of pressure with this elbow. And let's come up, let's plant that foot so we can do a nice little hip stretch right here. Again, tiny bit of pressure if you need. Hopefully you guys can see me okay. Honestly, my eyesight is so bad, y'all. Oh, I like, I try to see the camera, but I'm like, just so bad. I really need contacts. I really need contacts. That's how bad it is. Nice work. All right, let's switch. Hug the opposite knee. Oh my goodness, you've been traveling. This is one of my favorite stretches because it really gets those thighs, the back. Keep those shoulders down away from your face. And let's come right here, plant that foot and open up those hips. Don't look at my dirty socks, my nasty socks. Oh my goodness. Hips are so tight needing this bad and as you exhale just meet me right here in a nice butterfly position I'm just gonna come to center right here butterfly position ah, butterfly is so underrated underrated <laughs> I say overrated but it's underrated <laughs> holding right here you can take your elbows and take a little bit of pressure to open up those hips a little bit more Let's take one leg out and opposite arm above head. I don't want you slouching over. I really want you guys to think of up and over and then that side bend stretch. Now feel free to grab onto those toes to get a little bit more of those calves stretched out as well. Breathe in. Body stretch. Inhale and exhale. Back to that centering butterfly move for a quick second. Inhale and exhale. Great. Opposite side, opposite leg. Let's take that arm overhead. I'm like, you're gonna get energy from this. I'm like, wow, that really just calmed me down. In the best way though, like it centered me. I feel like sometimes during the holidays, even when you're spending a lot of time with your family, maybe you're on a family vacation, let's take those hips up. And you just need a calming moment to yourself. I am around 40 family members, and so having just a second to myself is so precious. And it's very calming, so this is much needed. I'm gonna come back to that butterfly. Feel free to take those elbows right over your knees right here. Close your eyes. Roll those shoulders down and back. Release that tension. Feel free to rock from side to side. Really whatever makes you feel right, honestly, do right here. Sometimes what I love to do too is just place my hands right behind me and open up my chest in that way as well. Roll out my neck. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you could hear my neck cracking. My goodness. And take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. How are we feeling? Oh my goodness. I feel so calm, so centered. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Feel free right now. What I love to do too, if you've been traveling, you just need to work on your posture or bloating, take those hands right behind your head, clasp them, coming down, opening up the chest, making sure you're tucking your chin to your chest right here. That one always gets me for not only my lower back, my neck, um, but also my hamstrings. And then to end it also, which is making sure you're getting that neck tension. Our hips and our neck, to me, just carry so much tension. Especially as women, our hips carry more tension. Oh, I didn't realize this one top was oh, a little bit messed up. Um, how much tension 
your hips, carry some of your sure you're taking just a few moments every single day to open up those hips and relieve that tension because it can help with a lot of other things as well. I love you guys. Make sure to roll out your neck. Take time for you, yourself, focus on you. I love you so much and thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys.